You actually talked about that in next episode. <laughs> Let me start that just section. Though. Yeah. I'm just mm-hmm. going to do that. <laughs> um, so I. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, you're here. Welcome to How to Be a Grown Up with CK and GK. Let's get started. They say that breaking up is hard to do. Now I know, I know that it's Truesday. Day. <laughs> Are we breaking no, up? No, but we're going to talk about how to not break oh. up. Oh. So maybe oh, making up right. is hard to do. Maybe. Okay, so today we're talking about those partner fights that you have and then that uncomfortable um breaking the ice that needs to happen after the fight's over what do you say what do you text what do you do so welcome to ck and gk we're teaching you how to be a grown-up let's do it before we get into it i want to introduce with me as always is caitlin and I might be a handful, but luckily she has two hands, so she can manage me. Ah, uh, hey Oh, that's Jenny, my sweet, glowing son. <gasps> I love Ooh. it. We really don't fight that much, do we? But when we do, we I think we employ these yes. techniques. Yeah. yeah? And most yes. of our fights are about me ghosting right. you, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, I have too much social anxiety, and then I'm and just I can't like, handle you know this, so you I'm just going to not and... answer the question. Right. So I think, well, this is, that's what makes this funny is because I think this applies to any duo partnership, whatever needs to be. So let's, let's go ahead and get into it. So the sources for today are what to text your partner after a fight by Samantha Darby for scary mommy. And she refers to someone named Caroline Hogeveen, who is a licensed marriage therapist and mental health counselor throughout the episode. So if you use me, or if you hear me say the word Hogeveen, I'm talking about this marriage therapist. That's a great name. Okay. I know I like it. It kind of yeah. rolls off the tongue, Hogan. right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Hogavine. I'm probably saying well, it, it wrong. Doesn't matter. Like okay. It could be like a high, like very intelligent vocabulary word. Oh. Like maybe it's a it's it a, does. like a geographical feature. Once I came <laughs> over the hill, I saw the Hogavine. <laughs> I was mesmerized. Uh, this Hogavine was at, you know, an elevation of yes. 1,500. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're making fun of this. No, one actually no, giving we us are decent complimenting her name. There is a difference. Mm-hmm. It does sound very professional. Yes. Okay. Anyway, back to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So something serious. We're talking about the last fight you had with your partner. Think about that last fight you had with your partner, right? Regardless of the reason for the fight, there's a chance it had been simmering for a while, before it came to a rolling boil, <laughs> whatever, no matter how the fight starts or how long it lasts, there's always a moment when it's over or you think it's over. And you probably need to say something like that awkward, uh, I got to say something We're and it's over. Again, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's an apology or a funny line, just whatever it is that will put you back on your regular relationship feet. Okay. Right. So I can't speak for everyone here, meaning you, cause you're the only one here. I can't speak for all of us, but my husband and I are pretty non-confrontational person or people. I like to talk a big game, but when it actually comes to saying something to someone's face, I'm like, please don't make me do this. <laughs> I don't really like it. It makes me really uncomfortable. So we are far better when we break the ice over text. Ah. Just how we how we've been always. So when I saw this article about text to send to your partner after a fight, I was like, "Yes, this is me," and I have to share it with you guys. Uh, but I have to say, caveat here: I don't recommend sending a text to break the ice when there's a fight that's gone too far. Ah, right. And we know what kind of fights these are. These are the ones with name calling, um, hitting below the belt literally or figuratively right. um dismissing the other person's feelings y'all know what that looks like and feels like in your relationship because every relationship has what the below the belt terms and things are so in those situations you and your partner need to bite the bullet have an actual conversation 
exchange apologies right. unless you know he's definitely wrong notice i'm saying he here right um and it's also worth noting that when these types of fights happen the conversation needs to address the root cause of right. that um which may or may not be feeling misunderstood feeling invalidated feeling unappreciated which often is the root of most couple fights right um in order to put an end to the fight but and I'm not a therapist, but I'm going to say this. If you keep having the same fights over and over again about the same things and they have the same root causes, I would highly suggest going to speak to a unbiased third party, someone neutral, like a therapist to have someone help you navigate that conversation right. that needs to be had. Because there's something deeper there and having someone facilitate it will help you get through that. Exactly. Okay, so these texts for your partner after that fight are for any of you who come to some sort of resolution about your fight, whether the resolution is, I need to drop this. So do you. Let's drop this right now. Yes. Yes. Or it's, you're right, I'm wrong. Or it's, here's how we fix this problem. Whatever the resolution is. Or we're sweeping it under the rug and pretending it's what not these are for so that we can be friends again. Uh, also an option. <laughs> Not one I recommend, <laughs> but also an option. Yes. Again, not a therapist. But Whatever works for you. <laughs> I can identify unhealthy practices. <laughs> yes, like I However, joke, I'm not a doctor, but um, I've been teaching long enough that I know what pink eye looks like. <laughs> right. Exactly. Mm, yep. So this person, this Caroline Hogavine topiary name Ooh, that's not topiary no. topographical no, i kind of like topiary but topiary is yeah. a nice word too yeah okay i'm gonna use the hogavine approach yeah. the hogavine right <laughs> can you pass me my hogavine so that notice i can the work hogavines on this? in the backyard i'm trying to i'm trying yeah. to sculpt this into the shape of donald duck <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to use a double hogavine <laughs> she recommends like two types of texts and i think that most people would probably agree these are two common ones for those of us who actually use this method. One of them is the joke nice. route where the other one is the heartfelt apology, genuine feeling text. Blech. Right. But I'm going to say this, here's the deal in the words of my favorite father-in-law. Here's the deal. You know, your partner, you know, what right. works, what doesn't work, what would make things worse, et cetera. So you are going to have to be choosy about right. there this. There is no and, one and size smart. fits all conversation here. Right. No. Mm -mm. Nope. And you might choose one oh, absolutely. for one type of fight and that another for the other I type, mean. right? Like, it's not even like yes. uh, family to family. It's like situation to situation. No. Right. Exactly. So I'm going to start with the jokes because you and I like the funny. If you go the joke route for the love of all that is holy on this earth, and outside of this earth think about the freaking joke please just <laughs> just think about the joke okay intent versus impact right this is a sensitive time do not make jokes that will insult your partner whether intentionally or unintentionally mm -hmm. okay do not minimize or invalidate their feelings or your own because here's the deal the fight happened for a reason. Right. So invalidating your feelings is not going to make you feel any better. And invalidating theirs just makes it worse. So just no invalidating. Okay. And whatever joke you make, again, for the love of all that is holy, make sure it is one that you would laugh at together and not at the other person with. Yes? Right. Okay. Those are the rules. And now we all know as teachers, Jenny and I love a good sentence starter. So I have some sentence starters that I pulled from this article. I love this. Some of them are not that funny. Okay. I'm just going to say it. I, I am better at making these than they are. However, these might be a good place for you to start. And then you make your own. Okay. okay. So here's one of them. Was that argument like a forest fire that made everything a little easier to grow? Or do we just need to keep lighting some more matches? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so how was that for you? Or my personal version of this is, um, so that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and though these, again, these only work if your partner can like read the text and hear it in right. your tone, right? Like you just have to know, you have to know each other. Okay. 
Uh, let me know when you're ready for some funny memes from me, because I really am sorry, and I've got some good ones to share. <laughs> I feel so bad about our fight that I'll let you pick the show tonight. There you go. Um, what do you want for dinner? Cause like the least I can do is order some Chinese or something. Okay. Uh, hello. Is this phone number open to receiving text messages from me? Oh, that's yet? good. That's good. <laughs> Am I unblocked? Yes. Basically. Hi, this um, is uh, Jenny Chichi's you know, social prob- secretary. Uh, are you available? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Do memes come through on this text or no? Yeah. Um, here's another one. You know, we probably wouldn't have to fight if you just let my fragile ego be the star of the show just like once in a while. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, I personally think these are, there are some better ones you can come up with, but the, de- I obviously ad libbed some of these. The delivery is important here. So just making sure that you've got the good delivery is, is going to be key. But I do like the idea of these where you're, you are intentionally making light of the situation, but also acknowledging that something did happen. Right. That's a big deal. You can't just like blow it okay. off. Or as I said, sweep it under the rug and yeah. pretend it never happened. <laughs> Uh, the wasp approach. Yes. yes I, I am very familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here's my personal preference, which is the genuine route. Uh, I know my partner and jokes only work after the ice has been broken and not as the icebreaker. Okay. So for me, um, the, the, these work better. Um, and at the end of the day, everyone has moments where they say the wrong thing. They put their foot in their mouth. They overreact. Um, just thinking about a few things here will help you decide whether or not the joke or the genuine is the right way to go. So first of all, I'm sorry you're upset or I'm sorry you feel that way are not apologies. No, we're not going to use those. Those are not okay. Also, no throwaway. Sorry here. S-O-R-R-Y apostrophe. Right is only meant for when you are running late to a podcast session. <laughs> because you overslept. Which I know nothing about. <laughs> and it was scheduled for nothing. 10 a.m. And we started at 10.48. Y'all, um, I had my alarm set for 8. It went off, and I was like, why do I have an alarm set on Saturday? Turn that off. <laughs> 8 o'clock is not a time that teachers wake up during the week. I set that alarm on purpose. I should have recognized that right. it was eight o'clock and not five thirty. And I was just like, hmm, "Well, the back best to bed for me." Yeah. We also made this appointment like a month ago, and I still wasn't ready. That's so it, it helped. I mean, we were both late. It's fine. That's when the sorry with the exclamation point is appropriate, but not during this situation. Okay. Also, um, I'm gonna channel my Keely Jones from Ted oh, Lasso here accountability goes a long way. Accountability matters, Jamie. Yeah. Like you have to be accountable for the things that you say and do. So a genuine remark here might actually demonstrate that accountability. Right. And, um, much like the emotionally intense, deep feeling kids episode, where we give kids a way to express their feelings without eye contact and without being confrontational. Oh my gosh. I tried text it. Might actually, did it work it for you? It super worked. It worked for me. Yeah. We sat on the right. floor and I looked at Kit and said, okay, I want you to close your eyes and I'm going to say some things and you give me thumbs up, thumbs sideways or thumbs down, depending on if they're true or sort of true or not true at all. And we went through it and we mm-hmm. had a whole conversation and he loved it. It works. It works for me. I, Dr. Becky, bless yeah. you. Amazing. So go back and listen right? to that if you um, are yeah. intrigued. Last season. Go listen. Um. But just like that, it's a it's an eyes closed way to have the emotionally intense moment without any sort of confrontation, right? right? There's no eye contact. There's no close to like he you can do it if you're sitting reaction. on the couch next to each yeah. other, right? It doesn't matter. You just you just send the message. It's it's better. So here's some more sentence starters that might help you, and these are not funny, although I would like to deliver them in a way that is, but. No. Okay. One of them is, I really am sorry. And I hope you know how much I appreciate you. Mm. Could go a long way for someone who's feeling unappreciated. unappreciated. Yep. 
I love you. I'm on your team always. Another good one. I know fights happen, but I still don't like them. I'm oh, sorry. That's good. Mm-hmm. I like it too. Uh, do you want to get ice cream after dinner and talk about that fight? First of all, the answer is always yes to the first part. <laughs> <laughs> you will win if you offer me ice cream. So yes, not win the fight, but win like life. win my attention. <laughs> yes, life. <laughs> you will win life. Can we take a walk when I get home and just oh, reset? That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Especially if like that outdoor, if you guys are outdoor people, that might really, really help. I'm sorry you didn't feel heard earlier today. I promise to try harder. Ooh. Oh, I bolded that yeah. one. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I never want to fight with you. Oh, I couldn't say that. That's not true. There are times Depends where I like the fight where I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for a fight today. Do you ever do the like dopamine shower fight? Oh, where you like have a fight with either your partner or the bank teller or whoever it was and you just lay into them in the shower and it feels so good afterwards and then you're like I might be ready for a fight I might be <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that wow. at all she says um we can talk more whenever you're ready I just want to tell you I'm sorry that's good that's good the ball I is like that one court. too the whenever you're ready yeah exactly you've you've acknowledged that something happened but you're letting them have their moment and when they feel ready they can come to you I really appreciate how you kept our disagreement from being hurtful. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you for validating my feelings. I'm looking forward to being with you tonight. Yeah. This is good for when you're like at work right. and you're coming back together. Right. Uh, I can't wait to see you. I really am so sorry about earlier. I understand you may still be hurt. I just want to say again, how sorry I am. That's really good. You don't That's have to That's a really be good yet. one too. Right. No. And also, um, I hurt you. So you're still, yeah. you know what I mean? Like there's, there's a lot about that. That's accountable and all that. Um, so again, choosing the one that works best for the situation and for you and your partner, whoever that may be is important. Um, that said, no matter what, just remember that your fight happened for a reason. You there's, feelings there addressing the reason instead of focusing on what the fight was actually about will keep everyone feeling safe and happy and heard so just send the text say you're sorry and do better next time yeah all right let's take a break we need it yes and we're, we're back, back. <laughs> it's time for us to talk about what we're obsessed with um Let's do it. For me right now, it is a product. You know how you get your hyper uh, fixation foods? I was just going to say, is this your hyper fixation food? Because that's what my obsession is oh right gosh, now, too. <laughs> okay. So um, we try not to eat as, like, yucky carbs. Sometimes we do, right? Sure. Like, it's, it's not like we're as strict as we used to be where it was like, zero carbs. If it's not in a vegetable, we don't eat it. Um, it's not so bad that time, but we like do try and stay away from the yucky ones, which are also the okay. yummy ones. French fries, right. bread, mm. bagels, you know. I love bread. Okay. Barilla, that like, I think that's how you say it. The pasta. Barilla. Yeah, thank you. The pasta. Yeah. The, yeah I don't know. It. The pasta company. That was a bad. Um, but, yeah. Makes chickpea pasta. Ooh. That is actually good. And not like nice. it's a good substitute for pasta. Like it is a good food. Okay. okay. So the um, twisty noodle shape is pretty good. I've used it. And the elbows okay. are pretty good. But the best mm. is the orzo. Oh, I love yeah. orzo pasta. Well, the thing is because it's such small pieces, like the texture isn't as important when you're chewing the noodle. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But it is so good it absorbs sauce like you can put a little pesto on it it's delicious um Ooh. and it cooks up super fast now when you look at yeah. it it looks like some kind of like pellet rabbit food because essentially to make it orzo they have like rolled out a sheet of this chickpea pasta dough and just like cut it into little squares but when it cooks up yeah. it, it looks like normal orzo and it is so okay. good and it's right. made with only chickpeas and I'm, water. 
Okay. That's great. I'm going to have to pick some of that up because it sounds really, I really want some pasta right now. <laughs> Everybody wants pasta all the time. And if you say you don't. I like, already had do. breakfast tacos. I had breakfast tacos this morning and now I'm on pasta. Maybe my obsession is just yeah, food. Right? Maybe maybe that's what mine is right now. Okay, but my actual like type of food obsession, my hyperfixation right now. You remember when I went through the chili lime almond yes. obsession where like I bought like four bags. Mm-hmm. These $10 bags, I bought like four of them at one time. <laughs> Not healthy behavior. That said, I'm back on the almonds, but it's wasabi oh, almonds I love this those. time. I oh love my those. gosh. Why are they so good? Well, anything wasabi right now, like there's HEB has a wasabi trail mix that has like wonton pieces and peanuts and wasabi peas and some other stuff. And I love it. But the wasabi almonds, oh my gosh, can't stop. Won't stop. Don't want to stop. So good. Delicious. Anyway. Can't stop. Won't (laughs) stop. Don't want to stop. Nope. Don't want to. They told me I should go to rehab, but I said no. No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't need it. (laughs) <laughs> I ain't got the okay, time. Here we go. And my husband thinks it's fine. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. All right. So gems. gems. <laughs> All right. So as you know, Abigail is very into this flight football thing. She's loving it. She's playing her a little heart out. And she has become a more, as we would say in school, assertive player. What they say on the oh. field is be aggressive, be, be aggressive. Okay. So like she's, <laughs> oh, she's no. growing into like not being afraid of the ball, not being afraid of accidental contact, driving after a play. Like she, she's really developed this sense of athleticism, right? She's reading the field. She's figuring Good things out. Yeah. And you know, there's the joke that like, if you're afraid of the ball, it's going to hit you. <laughs> like just be ready if, if you're not afraid you will bat it away or you will catch it but if you're afraid it's gonna nail right. you right in the face so <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. she loves to play defense and in this play a catch was made and the running back was like plowing through the defense just oh, no. turning her hips Nothing's being pulled. She is very, very close to the end zone. Well, she railed Abby. Just just ran right through her. And as she is falling down, my girl power girl, and I clean that up, um, pull that flag. (gasps) Oh, get it, girl. Smacked. She's on her way down. She grabs the flag on her way to the ground. When she stands back up, she is leaning over. Well, I was concerned that she had like hurt her back because she wouldn't stand straight up. Oh god. But no, she got a nosebleed. She is bleeding all over. Oh my god. And she's gosh. yelling to the side, like, it looks worse than it is. I'm okay. I'm okay. Like she's not crying. She's <laughs> I love her. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love her. I couldn't get it to stop. She's on the sideline and it's just bleeding. It's just bleeding now one of the dads is a medic in there and um is working with her and trying to figure things out everybody's like raiding their handbags for different tissues and uh sanitizer and like yeah, tampons well, we went that route too um yeah do it well at one point she like bleeds a clot that i swear you could yeah. see from the moon yeah that's and that's how it's stopping right right, right. that's and how so you that's know it's what stop. saying to her like don't worry that's a good thing you you want that but he takes yep. well, a picture the clock, of son. her with this like blood booger hanging out of her nose <laughs> <laughs> who does that and then posts it on the internet and tags jj watt in it and it's like this is my daughter doing the best jj watt uh, oh lord she also blood on her shoes. do we have an answer from uh, jj we haven't had one yet but Yet is the okay. operative word. She also like bled all over yeah. her shoes, which she's not going to wash. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we should paint I it with clear so nail much. polish, like seal it in. These are your Nolan Ryan oh, shoes. <laughs> she dips them yeah, in yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, gross. <laughs> the Nolan Ryan shoes. That's so nasty. 
<laughs> so yeah, we were looking at pictures of when he got nailed in the face by Joe, uh, Bo Jackson's line drive, and then like went back to pitching, and there's blood all over. Went back yeah. to pitch everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, that's what man. she looked like. It was oh. great. Good and no tears her. means that it was a funny memory. Yeah, there you go. She'll that's a core memory yeah. right there. She'll carry that with her for a long time. Well, I don't have anything funny today. Um, I just returned from the suburbs outside of Chicago. So uh, I was there for my brother's wedding. So I just wanted to say a short congratulations to my brother and his new wife. It was lovely to meet her and her and her whole family. It was really great. And love you and welcome to my new sister-in-law. Her her name is Caitlin. She spells it differently than me, but her name is Caitlin. She looks entirely different from me, which is I'm sure helpful for my brother Um, and for her too, because I don't think they'd be married, (laughs) but um, it's just, it was an absolute delight to be there for the wedding. So I'm just, my gem is all the family time we had together. Congratulations to them. Love them both. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. All right. Well, with that, we have to tell you season four, please um, tell your friends and give some stars. And yeah. uh, make good choices. It's our senior year. It's our senior year. <laughs> Is oh my it? gosh! I don't Can like, we, like senior have a prom with myself at right the end. <gasps> yeah, a prom. Yes. Cast. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do that? <laughs> we just sit in our chairs and we have our headphones on, but we're wearing yes. prom dresses. I'll go find my vintage Jessica McClintock. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> I probably still have it from my sorority formals. <laughs> that is exactly what I needed you to say. Yes, Jessica McClintock. <laughs> With that, <laughs> we gotta go. Make good choices. <laughs> and when you can't play nice with your partner, just send them a nice text later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hey friends, thanks for listening to the CK and GK podcast. Find us at CK and GK podcast on Instagram and Twitter and rate, review, and subscribe on Apple podcasts, Spotify, good pods, or anywhere else that you pod. See you next time.